Okay, so we are going to decide whatever our dear sweet spear animal is. There's a whole list of animals um, that you guys will get to look at and choose from. Um, I mean, like a whole list. So it'll tell you um, the animal and what the meaning is behind it um, for the totem pole. So example, bird or carefree and lighthearted. Um, I've already picked one for me. I want to do a wolf. It says a wolf shows intense loyalty with a balance of independence. It sounds like me, so I'm gonna kind of go with it. Now, on the paper, there's kind of the shape of the head already drawn for you so that you can have a good starting point. You can also search whatever animal you're looking, front view. So if I searched wolf front view, stick my Chromebook in here real quick. I have a whole bunch of pictures of a wolf looking straight forward um, that I can use for a reference, okay? So we do want our animal to be drawn straight forward and not side from side to side because the totem poles, they all face forward. So today I'm just going to figure out what my totem pole is going to look like. So I'm gonna start with a piece of paper and I'm gonna sketch the shape of the head that's kind of already been given to me. It's just going to be bigger. I'm gonna draw lightly until I'm kind of comfortable with it and I'm gonna make sure that I'm taking up the space on my paper because I am going to need to do this large on my box that I'm using. Okay, so I've got the shape of the head here. Then I'm gonna start to add details, okay? So when I'm drawing this, I want to kind of keep in mind that Native American style, very, very simple, okay? They didn't have five billion details, really simple um, patterns and shapes. I also want to keep in mind symmetry. So whatever I do on one side, I'm also gonna do on the other. So I'm gonna kind of mimic that same shape. Over on that side. And clearly, I didn't do a very good job. That's okay. We're gonna draw lightly <laughs> till we erase, because it's too high. So I'm gonna come back down here and try that again. See, we all make mistakes. Nobody's going to get it perfect on the first time, but what's going to make it easier for you is if you draw lightly. There we go, make those match. Okay. Remember, this is just a sketch. It does not have to be perfect. Um, when we do this on the cardboard, it will be easier to be symmetrical because we can cut things out at the same time. Once I've got the general shape of the face, then I can add some extra details. For example, maybe to represent his fur, I'll do kind of a wiggly line like that. Remember, Native American totem poles use really simple designs. So what I'm kind of trying to do here is just kind of mimic some of the shapes that I see in the wolf's fur. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so I kind of like my sketch here. We're gonna roll with it. So just so you can kind of see what I was doing a little bit better. While I was drawing, I was looking at pictures of wolves because I was drawing a wolf. And so, so when I decided to do some of those details, I was looking at my wolf and I saw, oh, he's got a lot of like really shaggy fur on the side there. So that kind of represents that. I noticed that 
He's got like a long part on his nose, so I kind of put a shape to represent that. And I noticed that um, the markings around his eyes kind of go in that shape, and then the shape for the, his ears. So I'm looking, and I'm not drawing exactly what I see, but I'm kind of mimicking some of those shapes and patterns so that I can see when I'm looking at the wolf. <clears throat> All right, so this is my sketch, so I'm gonna go with it. Um, you guys will be working on yours today. I just want you to keep in mind, you've got the shape of the head already done for you. You just need to kind of mimic that design um, with whatever animal that you choose. And um, it's really gonna help you if you look on your Chromebook and find um, whatever animal you're at front view. It's gonna help you as you go to kind of draw and sketch your design for your totem pole. <clears throat> 